In honor of tomorrow being Halloween, we have an extra spooky story for you tonight. Local 3's Brianna McLean met with a paranormal team at one of the most haunted lighthouses in the Upper Peninsula. On the shores of Lake Michigan sits Sishwa Point Lighthouse. The lighthouse has been in operation since 1895 and the only active light left on the lake. But behind its walls holds the stories of its rich history and its friendly spirits. Well, we have five spirits that we know are in the house. I've written a total of 20 books and three of them are spirit books with 165 stories, all true stories that our visitors and our tour guides and I have experienced myself. The upstairs dresser mirror in the Lenore Goodrow fish room has had Captain Townsend's face appear 13 times. Now we also have Amanda Blanchard who is a wife to William Blanchard and I don't know if you can see her face in the window. She was midwife here and lived here for 40 years with her husband William Blanchard. Same Blanchard family, different branch. So Amanda was midwife and the upstairs bathroom was not a bathroom, it was a birthing room. And Amanda delivered over 100 babies out of that little room upstairs. Now she has shown herself over five different times and she connects with anybody in the medical field. And um, she is one of five that we have here in the house. The Upper Peninsula Paranormal Research Society have investigated Sishwa Point many times over the years. Captain Townsend, there were um, there's some stories out there that when you did pass, it was a, a painful passing. Co-founder Tim Ellis recalls a moment at the lighthouse that he'll never forget. Uh, Captain Joseph Willie Townsend is the main spirit here. And we were talking to him. We, we had set all of our gear up. We went outside just to let our audio and our video recorders do their thing while we were all outside, no one in the building. And we're on the side of the building and there's four windows that you can see from the parking lot that you're at. Two of us together witnessed, uh, knowing there was no one in the building, witnessed a shadow move from one window and heading towards the other one. As soon as we reacted, the rest of the team, eight in total, realized we were looking at something. So all of our attention, eight different people, were now looking at the next window and the curtains were closed on this particular window and all of us witnessed the, the curtains pulled back as though someone was on the inside looking out at us. Those curtains stayed open for what seemed for quite a while for us, but it was probably just a few seconds, but then they slowly closed on their own. The UP's unique environment may be why lighthouses have such strong paranormal activity. We have found through the years that the waterfront areas seem to be very conductive to paranormal activity. There's, there's a theory in the field called stone tape theory, which is certain kinds of stone, rocks, porous minerals can contain energy and they can trap and hold this energy and the waters moving over that help create the energy. So we think some of the hauntings are just things that happen in history that are coming back and playing themselves back in certain atmospheres. And to this day, those who visit Sishwa Point Lighthouse leave with stories that turn non-believers into believers of the paranormal. Reporting in Gulliver, Brianna McLean, Local 3 News.